time to meet the teenage yous in all your photographic glory. Let's have a look at oh. you three. Oh, oh my oh. God. That is awesome. Wow, so, I've got those shorts, Alan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have the, the old classic skimpy shorts and white socks combo. <laughs> I was working then, uh, I had, like Lou, a lot of jobs. And there, I, that was in my sock modelling days. I was going to say, what uniform <laughs> is that? <laughs> You're way better looking now. Oh, he's pretty hot there, don't you think? Sorry, I don't fancy kids. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're better looking now. Well, you're very kind, Lou. I think I don't know how old I was there, maybe about 17 there, but the shorts I'd had for years. <laughs> yeah, if you've got a pair of shorts like that, hold on to them. <laughs> the year would be roughly... Probably 1982, maybe. Oh, OK. It was the year of the tiny, tiny shorts, the year of the white socks, when everyone's clothes <laughs> fell off in the park. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's really easy to, to, to place people roughly in the... the oh, I can tell roughly what year that is by what people are wearing that. So I, I, don't, I don't remember that craze. Lou, let's have a look at Louis. What is a lot going on here, Louis? You <laughs> tell me, you know. <laughs> the old classic train attire. <laughs> I was a lot of fun. <laughs> And by that, I mean quite annoying. <laughs> Basically, I've just been interrailing around Europe. Such a ah, classic. Yeah, yeah. And then that's my impression of a turtle. It is very good. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. <laughs> uh, Rhea. Yes. Balloons, cake on a paper plate. That's me at 14. I looked about eight. And that was my dress sense um, with my father's coat on top. Oh, oh sweetie pie. Oh, oh thanks. What, do you remember what you're holding there? A speech? I'm Perhaps. definitely holding some cake. Imagine if she's like, uh, court injunction. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually have a restraining order against Alan because um, he kept coming around in those shorts. <laughs> uh, I've got to decide which of those pictures goes in the box. And Alan, I don't think there's... Um... <laughs> Despite your efforts to look, to, yeah. to look insane, Alan has genuinely pulled it off. Yeah. <laughs> that, Alan, oh, skimpy shorts, is... Uh, going in the box. <laughs> How would you describe yourself in one word, mm. Alan? As a teenager, very difficult. One word to describe your teenage uh, well, self. I was quite disgruntled, despite my apparent uh, relaxed persona. <laughs> <laughs> Alan. The only, thing I really, the only thing I really loved was having my photo taken. <laughs> <laughs> How would it manifest itself? The little acts of rebellion, pushing back against authority in school? Yeah, I used, well, I used to write on the bus in Mark Pen. <gasps> Alan was your I'd write Al of AFC. This is Arsenal was my team. Oh. And then I would always date it. Because <laughs> then I'd get on the same bus about a week later and go, well oh, there I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rhea, what one word sums up you you as a teenager? Oh, uh, I was a nerd. Nerd? Yeah. I mean there's nobody there's no evidence of this, but there was friends there, presumably. <laughs> <laughs> Friends is a, is a loose word uh, to use, but there were people. I do remember at that party that at some point they ended up playing their own games and I was inside staring at them out the window. I have that, I have that visual in my head. With them. <laughs> but yeah, I was a nerd. I was... So far, so bleak. Yes. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, school? Tell me about the prom, Ria. Oh. I really wanted to go to my... So it was an American high school in the Netherlands, so we had a prom. I really wanted to go to prom, but... No one had asked me to go. I was um, the nerd of the nerds, and I found out later that they'd all decided to go together, and I was such a nerd of no. that group, they didn't even ask me either, so they'd gotten a limo to go together. But I was like, I'm going to my prom, it's my senior prom. And so uh, my mom gave me a dress that she'd had in her wardrobe since about 1950, whatever, um, I, and I made a cape, and my... I think we can see you. I think we got a picture of you in the cape. Do we? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I made that cake. That's made pretty cool. Cake. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, that's like that's a vintage dress. Even then, that was vintage. It was really nice. And then everyone has limos, and the way that it works is that you have a red carpet to go in, but they wouldn't let my dad's car go up the red carpet because it was just a car and it wasn't a limo. So they veered what? him off to the side, <laughs> and, <laughs> and so I'm dressed up in the Sorry, back. Sorry, laugh. My problem. So all the parents are lined up on the side of the red carpet as a limo comes up. All the kids come out and they take all the pictures and they feel so special. And we pulled up to this side door, and I had to just op pull open my own door and kind of go in and meet all the kids on the other side. And they're like, "Oh, hi, Ria." <laughs> it was just so awkward. What I ended up doing is standing in the corridor that leads to the toilets so that I could talk to people as they go to the loo. <laughs> and I just, you know, you just make it look. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I just came from the toilet. You know, every time. So, like, oh, no, I just came time. from the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> like I had cystitis or something. It's wrong. <laughs>